right, what's up, folks? It's another episode of the Sunday Roast, and it's been an epic week because there's been so much happening, not just in Malaysia, but across the globe. My man Yats is on the other side in his newsroom. Let's take a look at him today. What's up, people? Sunday Roast it is! Every single Sunday, 3 p.m. We are here, all right? I'm not uh, sure if it is always 3 p.m., but you know, timing can run here and there. Who cares? We're at home. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> okay, so some of the hot news of the week, uh, starting off in Malaysia, we had this Abang dressed up as a ghost somewhere in Kuala Tunganu, standing on top of his car and scaring the heebie-jeebies out of all the boys and girls in the neighbourhood, which I thought was perfect. I'd love to do that around uh, help the cops in town, actually. Although I think, Yatsu, you make a damn good uh, oversized uh, ghost. No need! No need! I just come in my suit and go, Hi! I'm a Jolo. I'm here to steal your money, and everybody gonna go in their home and hide. <laughs> Although I don't know if Jolo is a scary name much anymore, man. But I would say the highlight of the week in Malaysia was our dear minister and her department asking the lovely ladies to get a dolled up at the home. You get out of bed, you dress up, you wear the sexy. Uh, I don't know if she really meant uh, maybe some lingerie or lingerie, as they say in Malaysia, lingerie, lingerie, huh? No, but let's not talk about that. I think she was talking about getting dressed up and looking uh, presentable. Uh, but the, the worst thing was using her Doraemon voice. What was she thinking? And that lady went to the same university as me. It's an America. Uh, from the same alma mater. Oh my God. <laughs> Are you serious, mate? Rina's from the same uni as you? I mean, like, what? Seriously? All I'm thinking is... There should be some sort of check and balance along the way, right? Some people would have must have thought... Hey, this doesn't sound too bright of an idea, but let's just go with it. So I'm thinking to myself, what's going on? Do you like my background, mate? You know, the Ramon background right at you, bro? Yeah, yeah. You know, so, uh, you know, the ladies, uh, some women actually did that. You know, I saw a few friends post their version of uh, their Toremon voice, the makeup. I mean, what kind of nonsense in this day and time? I mean, what is the department? What, what, was, what were they thinking? You know, our... our with the whole new government and the sentiments in the street, Prime Minister is doing his level best. And then you've got the, some of these Mickey Mouses running around and just uh, upsetting the apple carts. Uh, and you know, that news hit the global news. We made the daily show. Trevor Noah covered us. Like, woo -woo. well done, uh, YB Rina. You put us on the map. Oh yeah, I give you the thumbs up. I give you the double thumbs up. Well done. <laughs> Hey, trust me, man. I can do this Doraemon thing all day long, okay? You want a mascot for this, Rina? Look me up. Look me up. I'll do it for you for free. Give, give me another round of Doraemon. Man. Give me another round of Doraemon. That was too good. Too good. You are too good. Uh, <laughs> okay. All dignity out the window. <laughs> What, what other news did you pick up on your, your side, man? Oh, right. We have the good housing and local government minister, you know, uh, being there for the people as they actually perform uh, sanitation exercises. Now, the only thing that I think people had, uh, uh, had a bone to pick on this was because she was all dressed up in this personal protective equipment with the word minister on a headgear as well. It's so, I guess, uh, you know, there are things that you need to do. You need to be present. That's how I feel about it. But there's also taking it to the level where people will say you're doing a little bit too much. So, uh, tone it down a little, you know, be more there for the right. Yeah, by all means, go all the way for that. But yeah, um, yeah just tone it down just a tad a little. And, and the whole disinfection of the roads, like, I get it, okay, you know, Malaysia now, we've got the hot spots and they're out there doing their thing. But what is the point of spraying the roads? Are we actually uh, running with our fingers on the ground and then touching our faces? What's the point? If you're going to sanitize, sanitize the uh, waste level upwards low, I mean the wet markets and all that, sanitize the counters, sanitize the surroundings. But I'm not sure if we need to spray the goddamn streets with disinfection because 
I don't serve the purpose, yo. Fuck her, la, ota. Hello. I think the, uh, nowadays got a liquidity crunch. Uh, not a lot of people dropping money on the road. So we can spare the road the sanitation, la, okay? Uh, and I think uh, the, our good old Duarte in uh, Manila, what was he up to? That guy is always on fire. Uh. Whoa, the dude! I tell you, man, that guy is just gangster, all right? He's the OG, all right? He, tell, he tells his cops uh, to actually, in his words, shoot them dead. And who is this them dead they're referring to? We're not talking about drug dealers no more. We're not talking about murderers or any criminals. We're talking about lockdown violators. All right, as it is already. All right, lives are being lost to the virus. And the good president Duterte AG went, you know what? If they violate the lockdown, just open fire. You have my, you have my blessing and endorsement to do so. I think they really just took a chapter off the you know, North Korea. <clears throat> Uh, so, my fellow Malaysians, we are grateful we are here in uh, Malaysia because if you're in the Philippines, they shoot you dead. We have the lady who just got uh, thrown in jail, uh, or she's getting fined, I think, for calling the cops idiots like, Hello, Paikate, you, you who? Your father who? Huh? Founding father of Malaysia. Shut up and stay at home. Lah. Hello. And the other guy, you know, raising his voice to the coppers, and what did the copper turn around and say? This one I really got to refer because the, the memes were up and about immediately, man. That fella was like, Hoi! Suara kau! Jangan kuat! Uh, if you are in Manila, they pow pow you. Uh, hello. Yeah, that's like another level to, you know, silencing resistance. <laughs> yeah. And, and what else has been happening, man? What else did you pick up in your neck of the woods? Well, Singapore has gone down to, uh, no, to uh, in MCO. So, you know, this PM Lee, you know, he's really something. He made his announcement in English, then he took a sip of tea and made his announcement in BM, then took another sip of tea and followed by making his announcement in Mandarin. So all I gotta say is, uh, what's in that tea? I want some. I want to be trilingual as well. And then the other thing is, uh, Hey, come on, Singaporeans. First, you steal our hawker culture. Then you go and tell everyone Bakute is yours. Then you want to take Cha Kui Tiao. Now, MC also you want to take. Come on, guys. Chillax a little bit. We'll still share our water with you, you know? We'll still share our water with you, all right? Relax, all right? <laughs> and on the fact of Zoom, not just the fact that we are now on Zoom, but Zoom, it blew up. The guy started becoming an overnight superstar, the founder, Eric. Uh, but now the FBI has also released a little memo saying that there's also been uh, data privacy being hacked and more importantly, Zoom meetings uh, were being inundated uh, <laughs> with people's uh, porn collections and whatnot else. Uh, so I'm uh, very grateful that uh, as our Sunday roast is ongoing, uh, Go Yatwa's uh, private collection uh, is private as of now. It hasn't uh, encroached our screens for now. So uh, well done. <laughs> Zoom is still working fine. So. You know, it's always good to be safe, but uh, for now, zoom, zoom, law. <laughs> Dude, you are next level, man. And, you know, good old Trump is up to his nonsense as usual. Now he's hijacking masks, 3M masks. First of all, he sends a directive to 3M saying, you're not going to export to Canada. And the Canadian exports were for the healthcare workers. Uh, 200,000 masks. That's number one. And Trudeau just lost the plot. And now we just find out Homeboy managed to hijack modern day piracy in Bangkok. And he took another whole batch shipment of 3M, not 3M actually, they were some American ish made masks bound for Berlin for the entire German uh, healthcare workforce. And uh, he's uh, siphoning it back to America. So in this day and time, that good old Trump is up to his shenanigans. Oh, God save the Queen and uh, make America great again. Trump, you the man, man. You the man. You are the biggest bully the world has ever seen and ever will see. Oh, yeah. I think at this point in time, we just it's just very apt that we should always go into something a little bit lighter. I mean, with Trump and his modern day piracy, you know. How about we actually go back you know, towards Asia? Well, what I what I found out, you know, as of this afternoon, was that there is this newborn twin in India, and they are respectively named Corona and COVID. 
oh my god india you are too good this is too unbelievable as russell would say mind blasting corona and covid oh yo jolly good yeah tika take your tweets take it and go do the right thing <laughs> give hope to the world name your children corona and the covid 19 okay okay this this is amazing last year the name of the year was uh, a newborn baby in indonesia named google right and google sent them a cat package and now you got corona and covid i tell you us human beings are just next level we are one of a kind i'm just waiting for somebody closer to home lah corona bin covid that would be a good name <laughs> All right folks I believe it will happen I believe <laughs> No listen they've already said January 2021 there's going to be an influx of newborn babies globally globally So rest assured uh it's uh, in the moment of the lockdown uh, everybody is uh keeping a warm staying close to each other and uh, bam bam when my bam uh, and uh, nine months down the road oh my god there's going to be more corona babies yo covid covid the only good thing that i can see from it is at least most of them are legitimate <laughs> no john snow <laughs> that's true there's no way in heaven so folks it's been another amazing exciting week the sunday rose is always getting fresh material from around the neighborhood around the city around the country and looks like around the globe as long as you've got trump sitting in power there's always some earth shattering news this is a sunday rose brought to you by me jiggy and my man yes yes peace out peace and a, out. a bit of a doremon wrap it up you'll wrap it up with some doremon wrap it up bye, bye.